they generate income by being to an enjoyment uh, as you walk around. But the uh, oil in a well uh, or fish in the sea does not uh, produce income by itself if you have to harness it. Although the difference between those two is that the oil is not going to expand, whereas if you leave the fish in the sea, you'll end up with more fish in the sea. Uh, depends. Uh, I, I will come back to to that. Uh, if, if, if the stock is too big, you could end up with fewer. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you are right. Uh, so, to enjoy uh, non-renewable resources, we have to transform them from their natural form uh, to financial, uh, finance capital. That is what the Norwegians are doing. They are taking a stock of, nat uh, of natural capital, uh, turning, turning it into financial assets, putting it, putting it to work uh, abroad, and then they can enjoy income from that in, in the future. Or you can uh, turn it into productive capital, you can have it to work in, in factories at home. Or you can turn it into human capital, uh, schooling, social infrastructure, etc. So in that way you make, as I said before, non-renewable -re uh, resources, you kind of make them uh, renewable. Uh, then to renewable capital, uh, you think of that differently, as you said. Uh, you would like to see a sustainable utilization of such, uh, of such uh, capital, uh, but sustainability can be so many things. Uh, you could, uh, and there are two important terms that economists, uh, or one is uh, biological and the other is, uh, is economic. Uh, biologists uh, often uh, look at maximum sustainable yield. Uh, uh, while economists are more, uh, like more to talk about maximum economic yield. And there, uh, there may be uh, a, 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 a considerable difference between those two concepts. Uh, let me, I, I will not go into all the, all the details here. Let me just do this uh, a bit quickly. Uh, this is about how to harness a, a, a renewable, a renewable uh, uh, resource that is used in a, in a common. Uh, let me just, I, I will not go into the mathematics here. Uh, let me just uh, show you this figure. Uh, here you have uh, at port how many ships you have at sea. And on the uh, y-axis you have uh, have um, uh, cards, uh, and, uh, or uh, you, yeah, yeah, you have, uh, have value of cards. Uh, think of, uh, of it like that, that uh, it does cost one dollar per, uh, per kilo. Uh, so you have a uh, fixed um, uh, price. Now, uh, F, the relationship between effort and cuts is this. If you have small effort, cuts is not so big. If you increase your effort, cuts will increase until you reach the maximum sustainable yield at the top of this curve. Uh, if you expand effort beyond that, then you over this. And uh, the sustainable cuts uh, diminish until at some point you fish out the last, 
than in the last fish. We almost did that with a um, stock of 10 million tons uh, in the 1980s, 1968-69. That was the biggest fishing stock in, in the Atlantic, the Atlantic Atlantic Perry, and we almost uh, managed to, to kill the last one. So it is possible. You think of the marginal cost, the cost, the cost of putting an extra ship on the water is fixed. You need a fixed number of crew, uh, the size of the boat is fixed, etc. Et because like that, of course, it is not, not too bad, but uh, it's a uh, usable uh, approximation. Uh, and if you, those curves here, they are, uh, they are just uh, the, uh, the average cut, cuts per unit of, 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 of effort, that is this one. You just divide by the figure on the x-axis and and, 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 and put it down from here, and it will have this, this, uh, this shape. And uh, this one here is the marginal uh, yield. Tells you the extra cuts per new uh, boat you put on the, on the, on the uh, sea. Now, if you have free access to to this uh, to this uh, fishery, uh, you will put a new ball into on the sea as long as the income is generated in that way is higher than the cost of putting that ball on the sea. So you will have a flow of new entrants into this, into this fishery until here, where the average yield per unit of effort is equal to the cost of the effort. And then you will have overs, and you will uh, uh, here, yeah. Uh, what would be the best solution is uh, to be where the marginal yield is equal to the marginal cost. That is here. And that is, this is what we term as is maximum economic yield. Uh, and now there is not a difference between maximum uh, economic yield and maximum sustainable yield. But you see that I could, uh, uh, by just changing the figure a bit, then I could get a, a very big difference between, between those concepts. So this is, uh, this is the economics 101 in three seconds, so to speak. So if I try to sum up a bit, then uh, uh, what is intended as an investment need not be common. Uh, natural assets are often have to be transformed to produce income, uh, and uh, we have to turn non-renewable assets into renewable in, uh, in order to enjoy the income from growth. Uh, and here we have the definition of income uh, from Higgs. Uh, maximum value which he can consume during a week and still expect to be as well off at the end of the week as he was at the beginning. Uh, this, it is important to understand that this does not mean that uh, you should keep the assets and now you can be uh, transforming assets from one form to another, but the value of those assets should be in 